Hello, thank you everybody for listening to my presentation. My name is Mohammad Marwasi and I will present our conference paper entitled Parabolic Reflector Antenna Design to Generate Pure High Order Vortex Modes at 24 GHz Frequency Band. On behalf of Ali Reza Bayerlu and uh, our supervisor, Professor Halim Boutaye at the University of Quebec on Ottawa. In this presentation, I will first describe the concept of angular momentum of electromagnetic wave in the in, uh, introduction section. Then I will uh, describe different methods uh, proposed in the literature for generating uh, OM uh, waves and antenna. Uh, I will then show the idea, uh, different ideas for uh, performance improvement of OM antenna systems. Uh, then I will demonstrate uh, the antenna structure proposed for the generation and improvement, uh, the performance of high uh, order vortex modes. I will then focus on presenting the simulation result for the you know, for this uh, structure, and then I will conclude. So, uh, what is the angular momentum? The angular momentum, uh, momentum of an object is uh, the cross product of its uh, position vector and its linear momentum. So immediately we can see that the angular momentum is not uh, an intrinsic property, but it depends on the origin we, uh, we consider. Uh, the linear and angular momentum are considered uh, uh, to be conserved uh, properties which means that the total amount of linear and angular momentum uh, of an object uh, should remain constant in a problem. Uh, if we calculate uh, the angular momentum for a rotating object around itself, no matter how uh, and where we consider the origin, uh, we can we always achieve the same value for the magnitude of uh, angular momentum. We call that uh, a spin angular momentum. Uh, so uh, a spin angular momentum is an intrinsic uh, property. But for the angular momentum of a rotating object around a point, uh, it, it depends on, uh, on the origin we consider. So if we name this uh, property orbital angular momentum and it's not an intrinsic property. For the electromagnetic uh, waves, we can also define uh, linear momentum and angular momentum uh, values. Uh, the angular momentum of electromagnetic waves uh, is the summation of uh, spin angular momentum and uh, orbital angular momentum. Uh, the spin angular momentum can have only uh, two, value, two values of plus minus h for uh, related to left-handed and right-handed circular polarization, but uh, the uh, orbital angular momentum can have uh, uh, every value of uh, plus minus L multiplied by H with L as an integer. Uh, so we have unlimited number of uh, orbital angular momentum modes. And uh, it's related to it's related to the amount of twisting uh, of it's a spiral, a spiral shape wave front. Because of uh, this term, uh, all of OAM uh, states are orthogonal to each other. Uh, spin angular momentum uh, is widely used for doubling the microwave links capacity using the left-handed and right-handed circular polarization, but uh, uh, but the, but because of the orthogonality of uh, OAM states, uh, they also can uh, be used to multiply the capacity of 
microwave links by the number of uh, used states. Uh, but uh, using uh, OEM uh, beams, uh, because uh, they uh, diverge as they travel to the space, is a challenging job for a long range microwave links. There are uh, several methods in the literature for generation of OEM modes, such as using a helicoidal parabolic uh, reflector antenna, such as these two paper, uh, or another way is uh, to use a spiral phase plates, such as these forks, or using a circular loop or patch, like these forks, and also use of Uniform Circular Array, UCA. Also, uh, several methods have been proposed for improvement uh, the performance of OEM antenna system, such as uh, using a, a standard parabolic reflector antenna in front of an OEM source like uh, these two works uh, I've mentioned here. Also, use of a lens resonator and also, uh, instead of capturing the complete large aperture of OEM, uh, we can capture only this area uh, and uh, only samp in a sampled location using multiple patches or separated antenna. Uh, also, we can uh, use FabroPro cavity to enhance OEM beams. And here is uh, the structure of our design to generate high uh, gain OA modes. Uh, the main reflector uh, uh, is focusing all the incoming wave to its uh, focal point. Uh, the adapter is uh, to convert uh, the electromagnetic waves from cables and uh, connector to the waves traveling into the waveguide. The waveguide is to uh, hold the fit system in its place and also conduct electromagnetic energy from adapter to the lens, the lens uh, shaping the radiation pattern of the waveguide to cover, to fully cover the subreflector and subreflector to uh, reflect the incoming energy to the main uh, reflector. Uh, this is a 24 gigahertz design antenna that provides 42 dBi uh, with a deep uh, reflector dish design for generating L0 uh, in conventional uh, mode of the antenna. And this uh, is the 24 gigahertz CST model of the design antenna that is capable of generating pure OA modes up to L6 with a gain of 28 dBi. Uh, this is the phase from phase uh, of electric field uh, in the antenna aperture for L0, L3, and L6 OA mode. Uh, and this is uh, the electric field distribution in time of the antenna aperture for L6 OM mode. Again, uh, these are uh, figures of uh, showing field distribution in time for L6 OM mode uh, at anten antenna surface, antenna side view, and uh, back of the antenna. And this is the 3D radiation pattern for L6 OEM mode at 24 gigahertz with a null at the center, uh, which is uh, showing a hollow divergent beam. Uh, this is the comparison of 2D radiation pattern uh, of different modes with L0, uh, L3 in red, and L6 in blue. So. Uh, we conclude uh, that the proposed structure provide an excellent gain radi and radiation pattern and uh, pure phases for different OEM modes and can be used to multiply the capacity of a microwave link by, by the number of OEM uh, used OEM modes, which is in uh, our design is 15 uh, OEM modes, so it can multiply the capacity of a microwave link 
by uh, the number 15. And thank you very much uh, to listening to my presentation.